Hello, I'm William Stewart. I would like to give you an update of the 15th annual NANS meeting. NAN is the North American Neuromodulation Society meeting that's held every year here in Las Vegas at the Wynn Hotel. I have attended our first lectures today and we also exhibited. It's a remarkable conference. Some of the leading edge interventional pain physicians spoke here today and discussed uh, their recent findings of their studies, their research, and their clinical expertise. Individuals such as Joshua Prager, Tim Deere, David Carraway, Michael Salino, some of the founders and truly the pioneers of pain management. I am uh, quite blessed to be here. Um, I felt fortunate to hear some of their information um, and then others just to reconnect with them. Um, I was able to hear some lectures today about uh, the CSF flow regarding the movement of drugs throughout the uh, interthecal space and uh, Dr. Jason Pope gave a great presentation of um, some of the current studies and the perceptions of CSF flow and uh, what we know, what we don't know, and um, issues relating to pharmacokinetics and drug distribution. Uh, there's a lot of questions and, and past studies that have been discounted and then the new information based on sound science uh, has been presented. He did an excellent job and uh, it gave us more insight to um, the drug distribution and what is actually occurring in the cerebrospinal space. Um, I also attended a lecture by Dr. Salim Hayek from the Cleveland Clinic, and he too talked about drug distribution and uh, the mechanism of action of intrathecal drugs. Reviewed mostly drugs that are off-labeled use and uh, discussed fentanyl, bupivacaine, uh, baclofen, clonidine, uh, not so much baclofen, but clonidine. Reviewed their pharmacological properties, discussed uh, the uh, hydrophilic properties versus the lipophilic properties came across with some great points, uh, specifically with fentanyl and uh, how it interacts with the dorsal root ganglion. Um, he also described the anatomical features of the dorsal root, uh, specifically the uh, substantia gelatinosa and the penetration of the drugs into those tissues versus the hydrophilic drugs that do not penetrate as significantly. These were pertinent, deep, critical concepts of pharmacology and for the treatment of pain um, with interventional measures. <clears throat> I, um, I learned something today that I was just unaware of. Um, bupivacaine hydrochloride I've always considered as to be a hydrophilic drug, where in fact it is much more lipophilic than I had considered. And specifically there's an amide ester associated with bupivacaine that allows this drug to have a much greater lipophilicity and greater penetration with the tissues. So you, you get a less spread with bupivacaine than I actually originally received or, or had knowledge of, and that this drug actually penetrates the tissues to a greater degree. Interesting concept with bupivacaine, and, and it gives me a greater understanding of bupivacaine toxicities and bupivacaine overdoses that can occur with interspinal infusions. Uh, Dr. Dean Willis uh, posed a question during this lecture and discussed treating low back pain or back pain where the dermatomes are in the lumbar area and he found good success in treating these patients with cervical catheter located infusions of sufentanil or fentanyl and there was some discussions is, is he getting a greater penetration of those tissues thereby ameliorating the pain sensory uh, of the condition, not so much at the site of nociception, but through the spinal column. Um, really interesting thoughts, some brilliant leaders uh, presenting their information, and again, it was just snippets of the NANS meeting. Um, I was able to connect with a lot of colleagues of Medtronic and Azure Pharma, and I felt very fortunate to uh, kind of be with them. Um, this meeting continues to be um, a growing meeting, uh, more and more attendees. Uh, this year we believe that there was a thousand attendees uh, total, including industry. I'm blessed to be here and I wanted to convey some of these thoughts at the end of my day. I hope you find this as a benefit as I did as well. Take care.